said 350, 355 for us. Making some maple chili walnuts in the oven. We have two cups of raw walnuts. Virgin olive oil. We're doing one and a half tablespoons. Here's the half and a half tablespoon. Maple syrup, two tablespoons of maple syrup. Okay, we're gonna make sure this is all coated. spices. Two tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna mix it up but it's easier if you sprinkle it as you're adding it in. One teaspoon of cinnamon. That mug, it says a pinch. I'm gonna use an eighth of a teaspoon for a pinch. And cayenne pepper, it says a pinch. I might go a little heavier than an eighth. I might do a quarter. I want them spicy, I got sweet and spicy. How much is this? This is one eighth, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quarter teaspoon. Either kosher salt or pink salt. You don't want to use just regular iodized salt because it'll be too salty. And we want a quarter teaspoon. Mix that up very good. Let me get a rubber. It's different than the pecan one? Yeah, the pecan one has eggs and brown sugar and stuff. And this is maple syrup. We're gonna pour that out on your cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and spread them out pretty evenly. And you don't want them in clumps, so once they're on, and then you'll want to make sure you get all the goodies coming out too. We already have our oven preheating. Spread them out as much of a single layer as you can. the oven. It's up to 10. We're going to do seven minutes and then we got to turn them. You want to take them out after seven minutes and stir them around, flip them. seven minutes. I took them out and stirred them up again. I don't know if I'll put them back in. They're smelling toasty. They're not as sweet. Let them cool at least 10 minutes. They're flavorful. Mm, and I love toasted nuts. <laughs> 